Hello, this is Matthew French from the French Family Farm, and today uh, we're kind of give you an update on what we've been doing, and then kind of let you in on some plans we have for future videos. So today uh, we started about uh, eight o'clock this morning. I got up and took care of a few things um, for our website, and then I jumped in a truck and uh, hooked up to the trailer, and uh, we hauled off six pigs to our processor. Uh, we recently had to change our processor, so I had to drive almost an hour and a half away, but I think in the long run it's going to be better for us and better for our customers um, due to the fact that uh, we got a few more options, and we had a problem with the last processor, uh, kind of he hauling around with uh, an item we needed taken care of, and, and uh, we couldn't get it done, so we went somewhere where we could get it done. Hated to do that, had a great relationship with those folks, but just uh, they really just unfortunately couldn't couldn't handle just one simple task for us. So um, uh, the uh, then when we got back this afternoon, now just as a side note, this morning it was pouring the snow down. Here it is. It's it's late March, and um, it was very frustrating <laughs> to wake up this morning and almost an inch of snow on the ground when planning on hauling off animals. Um, so it it wasn't the greatest uh, situation, but uh, we managed through it and uh, took care of some things to make sure our animals were as comfortable as we could make them while we hauled them. Um, then uh, we got back this afternoon, and uh, we've started a new project. Uh, we've moved our, our sheep out onto pasture already into a field that we used last year. It's a little earlier than we moved them out last year, and um, what the we're trying to uh, trying to improve our, our property and trying to improve the little bit of, uh, of pasture that we have. We don't have a lot. Um, we have 250 acres on our farm, but they're, most of it's woodland, and so uh, we're having to really work with what we have very strategically and uh, plan better uh, for our, our for our grazing and uh, we're trying to use the animals and multiple species to try and really improve our uh, the quality of our pasture so we have a paddock set up behind me and we use a rotational grazing and we try and keep the animals in kind of as tight as we can we could probably put some more animals in here but uh, for right now this is all we have up here but we're trying to uh, what we're trying to do is we're actually feeding our hay on the ground now. I don't know if you can see that behind me, but there's a, a round bell hay and we rolled it out on the ground. And the goal is to feed them on the ground and allow them to urinate and to poop on the on the hay um, and bed on it uh, as they eat it. Okay, so you know with sheep there's a little bit of a risk of uh, dealing with uh, parasites, but we'll just have to keep a close eye on that. Um, but the goal is, is for them to trample that hay in the ground. And that's what I want. You know, most farmers are trying to avoid that. My goal is to allow them to do that, and and hopefully they'll do it really well. They'll spread it out and uh, bed on it, poop and pee on it, like I said, and uh, hopefully that'll improve our pasture over time. Uh, what we're trying are things that don't work immediately. Uh, some cases you'll see some some decent results in a few months, but uh, what we're go going for is long term. Okay, before my phone cut off on me, uh, I was going to say that uh, so that there's some complete transparency in what we're doing, um, I want you to know that I work a full-time job. And our farm, what we're trying to do is transition our farm from a part-time income to a full-time income for our family. And uh, so this is a, a step by a slow progress, step-by-step -step, uh, advancement. Uh, it's going to take some work on improving our fields. It's going to take uh, some strate strategic planning so that we can uh, plan better about how to bring our income in and uh, make that transition. So I hope you'll uh, you'll subscribe to us so you can keep up with what's going on, so you can see what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to try and talk about every aspect of how how we do things and and let you in on on uh, on the kind of the backside of our farm, so that you can see what it's like on our end and may it be a help to you if you're a farmer trying to make the same transition maybe you can see something that will be helpful and you can implement it to your farm if you have a desire to become a farmer maybe uh, maybe this will be helpful to you so uh, I hope you'll subscribe I have some other ideas about some things we can do in the future too on our channel so I hope you'll subscribe and keep up with what we're doing and uh, maybe you'll find something of use I hope <laughs> uh, so once again this is Matthew French and we'll see you out on the field. 